Okay, let's continue. In this demonstration, I will show you how we can set up script for start services when computer or server uh, start. And then I will show you how we can redirect webmail from HTTPS to HTTP URL. Okay, let's begin. Okay, this is a script. This is a script called VMI object and checks for uh, services for startup type in task manager we create basic task uh, which start when computer starts uh, we type start program we choose powershell uh, we can see powershell uh, location it's windows powershell v1 in the windows system 32 folder okay this is a command for start uh, script I will provide this command in uh, video comments okay uh, task is created let's uh, uh, edit some prop properties okay uh, we, we check uh, start as a administrator and I with high privileges okay the task is created now let's uh, check it okay uh, I will stop some services one server service let's open server MMC services MMC and uh, sort services for us uh, for automatic start and stop all IP helper services as we can see status is stopped let's run our uh, task okay uh, task now is running refresh it we can refresh it and see uh, the operation completed successfully let's check services uh, we must first refresh the page uh, Okay, we see IP helper services now is running. Okay, script is working. And now uh, let's change login format. As we can see in Exchange Admin Center, login format no now is domain and username. Let's open a new page. Okay, domain and username format. Let's log into uh, Exchange server uh, first uh, I want to show you in exchange web app uh, outlook web app links to this format logon format is al also uh, domain and username this is a certificate error uh, it's not a problem we can add a uh, site to trusted certificate a uh, trusted site list and after it the uh, site will open okay refresh okay this is a outlook web app web app page logon format uh, here domain and username let's uh, type password again and log into exchange admin center uh, in exchange admin center we need the servers and virtual directories in virtual directories we change um, OVA as we can see OVA web uh, default website let's edit it uh, in here we uh, also change internal URL and external to URL for uh, OVA and authentication method now it's domain and username we change it to username only let's check uh, default domain okay but uh, now we can save it but uh, I want to show you how we can set up this from the uh, exchange powershell in exchange our shell powershell we first need to uh, find our virtual directory now it's one it's uh, over default website uh, let's change 
set of a virtual directory and logon format is username and default domain is uh, contoso.com this can take uh, some minutes but after it we must restart EES uh, now I'm restart internet information services it's give me an error I must restart my server okay uh, I restart services server let's check our changes take effect uh, we get our virtual directory and uh, select format logon format and uh, default domain as we can see logon format is username and default domain is contazo.com let's uh, change uh, internal and external url for OVA uh, we get our virtual directory and set it internal URL to HTTPS webmail.contazo.com okay. uh, I create a CNAME record in my internal DNS server which pointed to mail.1 and name uh, it as a webmail <coughs> and we set external URL uh, to HTTPS webmail.com slash over okay let's change it let's uh, check it again ah no uh, powershell says that we must change uh, this direct uh, uh, address for exchange admin center for uh, two and let's change for uh, exchange admin center uh, but we don't type AAC we type ECP exchange control panel in here okay let's change it uh, as we can see logon format now is username in outlook web, web page uh, logon format is also username uh, let's log into we'll now log in log it to exchange admin center and check our virtual directory settings uh, in internal external url we can see uh, url is changed to webmail and authentication method change it to username only uh, in exchange control panel we can see urls change to and authentication method now uh, the exchange administration center uses same sign in formats at outlook web APA. web APK. okay if we change logon format in ova it will also change in uh, exchange admin center let's uh, redirect now https traffic for uh, webmail in exchange 2013 uh, over virtual directory is changed to HTTPS we don't need to type over uh, after over link now uh, I check NS lockup for webmail as you can see webmail exists and pointed to mail.1contoso.com uh, in ease we open ease manager and uh, create new site site name is webmail choose physical ties to our site uh, set host name to webmail.contoso.com press ok uh, Okay, site is created. Let's open HTTP redirect. Redi we uh, must redirect 
transfer this URL to httpswebmail.com and check only redirect request to contain this directory. Press apply and let check it. We can see link is HTTP after we refresh the page, it's changed to HTTPS. This is a certificate error because certificate is self-signed. Okay, thank you for watching.